Frequency Active Minds YouTube channel. My name is Elena and I'm going to be walking you through another STEM at home activity today. So for today's activity, we're going to be making our own homemade lava lamps. So for this experiment, all you're going to need is a bottle and we want to fill it about a third of the way with water. So I've done that already here. Then you're also going to need some Alka-Seltzer tablets, some food coloring, and some olive oil as well. So for this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to start by coloring our water. So you can make it whatever color you want, whatever color you want your lava lamp to be, that's the color that you'll put in there. So I'll choose blue for mine. So I'm just going to drop a couple drops of blue food coloring in there. And we're going to swirl that to mix it up a little bit. So now we see that my blue water is ready in the bottom there. And then to make the top part of the lava lamp, we're going to put some olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever oil you have on top there. So we're going to pour that into our bottle until it's almost at the top. Not quite, you want to leave a little bit of room at the top though. So as I'm pouring this, you can start to see that the water and the olive oil, they aren't mixing, they're making two separate layers. So I'll show you better in a second here. There we go. So we can see that we have our blue water layer on the bottom, and then we've got this yellow oil layer on the top there. So the reason that these two liquids are making two different layers and they're not mixing together is they have different densities. And basically what density means is how heavy something is. So water has a higher density, it's heavier, so it's gonna sit on the bottom, and oil, has a, a lower density, it's lighter, so it's going to sit on top in our bottle there. So these two liquids, they're never going to mix because they have different densities, so they can't mix together. They're going to make those two layers for us. Just like your lava lamp at home has a wax layer in the bottom, that's our colored water, and then we've got the oil on top there. All right. So, to make our lava lamp go, they're not quite like your ones at home that use heat to melt the wax and make it float up to the top. Ours are going to use something called Alka-Seltzer. So these are some little tablets. So you can take one out of the box there. They're just little white tablets like this. And basically what we're going to do is break it into some pieces so that it can fit in the top of our bottle. And when you're ready to make your lava lamp go, you're just going to drop it in your bottle there. And they sink down to your water layer. And as the tablet hits the bottom and comes into contact with the water, it starts making a gas called carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, the gas that we're making in there, it wants to get out of the bottle, it wants to go out the top. So it's going to float up in bubbles to the top of your bottle and it's going to disappear at the top. But when the bubbles come up, they're going to bring some of that colored water at the bottom with them. And so the water is going to get lifted up to the top and then when the gas goes out the top of your bottle, the water is going to sink back down and it'll just keep going up and down in your lava lamp as long as there's a tablet still down there making more gas. So when the tablet stops making gas, that's when your lava lamp is done, and then you have to add a new tablet again. So you can see here that our tablet is down in the bottom making that carbon dioxide gas. So it's lifting the bubbles of colored water up to the top, and then those bubbles are going back down again once the gas goes out the top of our bottle. So that's why we don't want to put a lid on the top of our bottle. We want to leave it open so that the gas can escape out the top. All right, so that's how you make your very own lava lamp using just a few simple things that you might already have at home. If not, ask your parents and maybe they can help you get some of the supplies that you need. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.